Hi there, in this video I will use Power Query on Dropbox. I have never seen this technique before. For example, if you want to compile monthly employees payroll data from different cities or different department, uh, for that every city will save file in the Dropbox and after that you will refresh the Power Query connection and import files with one click. You can also add next month record and refresh that query to extract the data from Excel file. By using this amazing Dropbox technique, you can easily import multiple Excel files and share with your management. So import files uh, from the folder, I have to press uh, data tab and create a new query, press new query, file and then press folder. I have to give folder path. I need to browse. I'm picking my Excel file from the Dropbox and employees payroll and then press OK and then press OK again. Now I have to transform the data. So I have clicked transform data here. So there are multiple columns and first I need to change the name. This is my consolidated employees payroll and uh, I no need to, for these columns, so I have to put cursor on my content and right click here and remove other columns. Now I have to add the column. So I have go here, add columns, and here I have to get Excel data. So I write down get Excel data. Make sure this command should be same and excel dot so excel dot workbook open parenthesis and double click on the content and close the parenthesis so excel dot workbook open parenthesis content and then close the parenthesis and then press ok so I don't require this binary I remove this one and then press this double arrow header I need all these columns so I have to press ok now I have to go again on the custom column so I don't want a header so I have to write down no headers And here I have to write down table dot promote headers open parenthesis and what exactly I want I want Excel data so I have to double click here and then close the parenthesis I need to check spelling again promote headers and then press OK so this is the table which I required with a header so I have to put my cursor here and then right click I don't want any other columns so remove other columns now I have to expand double arrow header this time I don't want a prefix I already have a prefix here so press ok so this is the data which we required and now I need to change the text or column so I have to press here and this is our date I press the date and this is our text a text this is also text this is a whole number hours a whole numbers and this is our salary and go in a currency so now uh, here I have to go in a home tab and I press close and load and close and load too because I need this data on a new sheet so Select how you want to view this data in your workbook. I need as a table and I need to see in a new worksheet and now press load. So 
So see this data has been extracted here and uh, so if you see this uh, there are only two month data which is for Montreal and Toronto. Now I minimize this sheet and uh, I'm going to add a data from my other folder which is for Calgary and from the month of February. I'm going to save these two files in the same employees payroll file. It added here. Now I minimize this one and then I go in a data tab and then refresh all. Now you can see month of Calgary has been added here and uh, as well as month of February has been updated. Uh, you can use also um, uh, many cities whatever you want or uh, from other department. Uh, make sure one thing when you are doing a Power Query use more than one file. You can also use Dropbox, SharePoint, iShare or any other sharing folder when where Excel sheet can be saved from different cities, different department or different stations. Then when you refresh that connection it will be updated with one click.